I suppose in the end, the whole of life becomes an act of letting go. But what always hurts the most is not taking a moment to say goodbye. I... If we take it just one day at a time with a positive attitude, anything is possible. I've enjoyed it a lot. See you soon. Finally, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Take me. I'm more like the girl who lives next door. That moment when the stage goes dark and the spotlight shines on me. The answer is four. A new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. Whoa, whoa, I wouldn't go that far. As you know, back in 1970, I start on a series called What Happened? Bicycle repairman. Thank goodness you've come. I'm supposed to sing the national anthem, but something important's happened, and well, I think the nation will forgive me. And the song just kind of uh, grew from that. Straight from the heart. I guess so. I'm out here so they'll know that you are worth it. Already late for my lecture on Argentine ceramics, so I guess I won't wait. The word is ceramics, and they ain't Argentine, they're Egyptian. This is the queen. She is the most powerful of all the pieces. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. I, Aku Aku, my duty is to protect you. Don't give me any lectures on morality. In fact, in fact, Rich, let me give you. Don't, don't tell me, let me guess. This is going to be the one about how you see life exactly the way it is.
you can wake up in the morning and say, I wasn't a phony, I wasn't scared, I, I fought the fight. I thought we have us been going places, looking for things, searching for things, going on adventures. I'd like to say a few words about a guy I know, a friend of mine. His name is Brian Piccolo. And most of all to the Academy, I'm very extremely grateful. And you made two people very happy in Brooklyn tonight, Rose and Irving Cashin. I always had hopes of being a big star. You see, I'm just crazy about this store. <laughs> They don't go shooting all the dogs because one of them's got fleas. I am the author of several books, including Prozac Nation, and most recently an ebook called Creatocracy How the Constitution Invented Hollywood. about a lot of things you don't understand.
My name is Dorothy. It's not Tootsie or Toots or Sweetie or Honey or Doc. Oh, Christ. No, just Dorothy. You may not have the privilege of serving under the meanest, toughest, screaming squadron commander in the Marine Corps. Me. say it's been as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> conversation was recorded at 6.15 this morning. Hey, Donnie, listen to me, Donnie. I know you know, all right? Manny McPhee, we need you. Manny McPhee, please. If there is one question, Inspector Callahan. Why do they call you Dirty Harry? This is an existentialism one. You're saying this, you don't know what this is. You have four surprises, Contessa. So are you, Mr. Bond. Mr. Bond. James Bond. happily ever after to the end of his days much has changed in our world since then but what hasn't changed is our love of the movies <laughs> <laughs> 